the couples get spicy on Latin night on Dancing with the Stars. And the producers added a new twist for the dancers as well. And the gentleman who spices things up for us every week, KBC Entertainment reporter <laughs> George Pinocchio, on the phone with us. Hi, friend. How are you? I'm well, thank you. And you? I, I'm great. I'm great. But what, what's with the new immunity twist? What did you think about that? Well, I think it's probably going to last this week. Who knows? <laughs> you know, they keep seem to change the rules every week on this show. But... In this particular case, they were just giving immunity to the one couple that did the best. Of course, what happens? A tie. Yeah. And then they had to go in and dig into the fact that over the course of the season, Kelly and Derek have gotten more points than Allie and Mark, so they were the ones that got immunity. And the rest had to dance for their lives and get extra points. And, you know, it's a two-hour show. They have to fill it. Well, they do. Now, now Kelly... I'm sorry. I still can't believe she didn't get a 30 out of that. Did I miss something with Carrie Ann giving her the 9 and the, other, the guys gave her 10s? Oh, I just think they're being tough. You know, they, this is when they start saying, this is when we have to get tough. And they've gotten tough. But oh. when it comes to Kelly, you know, her grandfathers were both in the audience. And Derek's grandparents <laughs> came for the very, very, very first time. And I said, what did your grandparents say to you after you, after you finished dancing? And Derek said, when our dancing was done, they said, can we meet Tom Bergeron? <laughs> I thought they were going to tell him to put his shirt back on because I heard him talk <laughs> about that. And now let's go to Allie, who, uh, you know, she's really improved as this show has gone on. Yeah, Allie's gotten better and better and better. She's very worried about Mark. He's nursing that back injury, so much so that he was unable to stand and do the press line after the show, so she oh. had to do it alone. She said he's in a lot of pain, and that's why he wasn't there, and she hoped he feels better, but... She might be rehearsing again with Henry, who's on what we call the farm team, but in the <laughs> troop, um, next week. But she says she feels awful, and there's nothing worse than when you just can't move. But he's he's just a trooper, and he danced for her, and she calls him amazing. And I said, aside from that, when did you learn how to shake all of a sudden? Because did you see her on the floor shaking, yes! shaking, shaking? She said she just decided she was going to go out there and not get embarrassed and just go crazy. And that's what she did to very high scores. Well, absolutely. And so did Zendaya. Shows up. The girl shows up every week. I think Beautiful. she shows up and she gets a nine. It's whether or not she's <laughs> going to get a nine or a ten. But right. after the show, I talked to them about their scores. And, you know, Val is very serious about things. And he says, I want our dance to speak for itself. The scores are great, but anything can change in an instant. And I thought it was very brave of them to take on Jacoby and Karina, the closest to them, because they wanted it to be more of a competition when they did the dance-off. And I thought that was pretty nice. As far as Zendaya goes, she's happy to be with Val. She's saying she has butterflies a little bit, but she's not nervous when she takes the stage at all. Wow. Val says that's when he gets nervous. Well, we're not nervous because we know you have us covered every single week for Dancing with the Stars. So thanks again, pal. And we'll see. We'll see who goes home tonight on the results show. It's Bye, Dance Andy. Bye. No, I like Andy. <laughs> Sorry, I, I like him too. I can't believe Carrie Ann gave him a five anyway. <laughs> that was mean. <laughs> that was mean. Uh, by the way, the results show, it is tonight right here on ABC7 at 8 o'clock.